welcome to our new video on aws identity and access management i am for short so in this video uh, we will understand why aws iam is important for aws account and then we will understand what is iam aws then in last we see some demo how we can create iam users and groups on all these things so let's start this video so first we need to understand why we need iam in aws account okay so in previous video you can see we created uh, this brand new aws account and uh, with this aws account associate with the uh, account root user so i am login as a account root user so now you can you can't give uh, root access to everyone so for that uh, then uh, this uh, aws iam is come into picture where you can uh, you want to give access to aws services or aws account to other users or application and groups and you want to restrict the access that these people so it is the best practice only give the permissions required to do a job or perform a task and this is called the least privileged access so i am give you more control over the, what access is given to our aws accounts now we understand why aws i am important uh, then we go to next slide uh, like uh, what is a I aws i am so i am is a globally resilient service so any data is always secure across all aws region i am is a same like a account root user can do anything in account but it will not look into your billings and uh, closure of aws account that is only happen with your uh, that you can do only with your root account user so full form of iam is identity and access management and it is a web service that help you secure control access to the aws resources and uh, i am enables you to create and manage aws users groups and i am roles and you have a permissions to allow deny their access to aws resources so i am is a critical component of aws security and is designed to give you fine grain control over who can access your resources and and what action they can perform so this is especially important if you have a multiple users or teams working on a same project and you as you can set up a different permission for different users to ensure that they only have access to to the resources they need so you can see in this a uh, diagram where we like if you see aws identity access management and in second picture home so if you want like for who want you access them like a user or group or application and where we uh, the next one we have a policies so we need to attach the policies to that users like uh, if you want to uh, give the access to uh, s3 so you can attach the policy to that user only give the permission to s3 so that user can access only s3 bucket now you now we need to understand the i am users roles and groups and policies so i am user can be used to represent as a people such as employees and who need to access to your aws resources so by default an i am user have no permissions you can grant i am user the ability to access or manipulate the resources by attaching the policies to the users next one is like a uh, groups so when you will have a multiple i am users that need the same i am permissions so to make this easier you can create an iam groups so iam group is a collection of iam users so examples like uh, you have a development team so you can create a group of development team uh, same as like finance hr so where you can create the groups and attach the, and attach the users in particular group then next uh, then next one is like iam roles so i am roles like like uh, you can create a roles in i am so roles are the like a temporary permission that you can assign to resources such as ec2 instance or s3 bucket so in coming upcoming videos you can see like uh, we assign some roles to ec2 instance where we the instance perform some task to use the s3 buckets and all other resources
and also it is not tied to particular IM identity such as human and it is temporarily assumed thus has no permanent credentials associated with it then last one is have, we have a policies so IAM policy allow you to specific exact permission that user group or roles have so these policies are written in JSON format can be very detailed and allowing you to control access to specific resources and actions and these policies can allow or deny access to AWS services when these policies are attached to IAM users or group and roles so that's all we need to understand the basic of AWS IAM now next we see some demo like we create some admin users uh, in a, our AWS account so we already have a, this AWS account here we can create a admin users so for creating uh, IAM users uh, you need to log into your uh, AWS console so I am already in, in AWS console now you need to search uh, IAM so you can search that IAM and you can see that uh, option is coming IAM manage access to AWS resources just click on this option so you can see that IAM dashboard is there and in right side you can see AWS account like account ID, account alias and all sign in URL so you can use this URL to sign in your account or you can create a, or you can create your customized alias so that will and uh, useful for your identify multiple accounts so we are not doing that uh, because we are looking into uh, creating IAM user so in left side you can see like access management and all other options like user groups a uh, users roles so for for now we need to create a user so just click on user so this screen will come and you can see that add user option so just click on the add user here we need to give the perm, uh, name of the user so i am giving i am giving i am admin then we have a uh, option like select aws access type so we have two option like access key promote programmatic access or password aws console access so first option is like uh, when we using the aws apis or sdk so then we can use this option but we are using only console aws so just click on this and uh, we need to console uh, then we have an option like console password so first option is like uh, auto generate password and second one is custom password so you can uh, though so if you choose your auto generate password so aws automatically generate the password you need you can save that and custom password you can create your own password so i am creating clicking on the my password now say uh, second one is like required password reset so so you can enable this option when user is trying to log in they they can uh, they need to reset the password but i am not doing that just on click then click on next permission and you can see the these three options so add user to group copy permission for existing user or attach existing policy directly so we don't have any group so we we don't attach this user to any of a group and we have option attach existing policy so just click on this policy and we are creating user for admin so you can see that uh, so there are so many policies are there like if you want to access the s3 so just this option you can see the all permission they are already aws created for you per policies like a amazon s3 full access all these are for all resources you can get the policies which created by aws you can create your custom policies also we need to uh, give the permission for administer access so just tick the option this so uh, this permission what will do like uh, the user have the full permission of aws account as an admin so they can do anything uh, they want so they have the full uh, power as a root user account have so now next one is like a next tax so you can attach the tags like uh, this is important if you this is optional but it is very helpful for identify the users that is i'm not doing you can ta add the tags also next one uh, like a uh, review so so now you can that review the all these things like uh, we are attaching the policies like admission access now just click on create user
so now you can see like our uh, add user is, uh, now our user is created now you can close this one now you can see that our user is created so for that we uh, now we need to check this uh, credential is working fine or not so for uh, before log out from this account we need to see the alias for this account so i am just creating this alias like and journal account so save this one you can see our alias is created just copy this one and just log out from this one back to login login as i am user copy your alias copy your alias you can uh, copy your uh, account alias or directly you can paste the link just which i copied from the account you can see that our account alias already came so now we need to give the i am use, uh, username so i am admin and password so you can see that uh, we are logged in as a i am user in upcoming videos we can see more details about the i am users i am roles and uh, i am groups and for, for and i am policies so for that you need to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video.